Production Track has the ability to capture replay on all four cameras. To get started, we first need to tell Production Track what sources we want to capture replay on and for how long. So we're going to go to the Preference window here, and then we're going to go to the Replay tab. Here you can see we have camera one uh, lit up or enabled, and then cameras two, three, and four are disabled because we only have one source coming in right now. But to set up these cameras, all we need to do is choose how long we want our captures to be. So for a, a sport like football, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a longer play. We'll do right around 30, 13 seconds. Then we're gonna click on this checkbox here to enable replay on that camera. So now at this point, Production Track is capturing the last 13 seconds uh, that are happening on that video feed. So if I go ahead and close out of this and I click on this capture replay button, it's gonna process the last 13 seconds and give it to us in a video clip that we can play back. So here we have our clip and we can set our in point and our out points with probably the beginning of the play and then the end of the play. And then we can use either our custom transitions here or our built-in transitions here. So we'll just go ahead and do the flash and that's gonna play that clip back. And we can see that it's playing at about half speed right now. We'll go over how to change that here in a second. And then as soon as this uh, clip comes to an end, it's gonna go ahead and automatically transition back to our normal video. Now back in the preference window under replay, we also have this live output. Live output allows you to capture the last one second or all the way up to 60 seconds of your feed that you are streaming out to your viewers. So where camera one here or two, three or four are just capturing um, that amount of time on each isolated camera, the live output is grabbing the last, we'll say 50 seconds here and grabbing the last 50 seconds that you're streaming out. And that would include also your camera cut. So if you're cutting between cameras, that'll be included in this capture as well as the graphics. Um, so this is really used, um, or a lot of people will use this in a scoring play scenario or maybe at the end of the game, somewhere where you wanna give a little bit more context to what's going on in the game. You do have to be live to use this, um, but it, it's a very fast process and allows you to capture more time and more of the play um, even if it's just for a backup in case one of your isolated cameras missed it. Down below we have a full resolution setting. So if you have this box checked for full resolution, it's going to capture your replays at full quality as the video comes in. If you decide to uncheck this, it's going to decrease the quality of the video clips just a little bit so that production truck can capture those quicker. Enable threading also deals with processor uh, efficiency. So this allows you to either make production truck work harder to process quicker, or maybe have it draw back a little bit and focus on other, uh, other processes that it's doing in the background as well. So if you have a computer that's maybe not quite strong enough to do multiple replays and streaming and maybe a few other tasks, you might wanna turn that off so you don't overwhelm the computer. Whereas if you have a very strong computer um, with, with good processing, good amount of RAM, you can turn that on and get your, your replay clips processed even quicker. The replay path here allows you to choose where you want to save your video clips. By default, they are saved to this production truck folder within your documents folder, as you can see by the path here. But if you wanna save that somewhere else, you can click on that replay path button and choose where you wanna save them. Here we can see the 32 of 45 tells us how much um, replay or how much video production truck can capture based on the specs of this computer. So with the specs of, of my computer here, it can capture 45 seconds between all four cameras. Right now we're using 13, which brings my total down to 32. That would be left for cameras two through four if I had those sources available. And finally, we have our default replay rate. So this is the playback speed of your replays when you play them back into the broadcast. They are captured at normal speed, but this allows you to quickly set um, your desired playback speed if you prefer to do, um, usually most people do 0.75. Um, or you can just set it to 1.0 and have them play back in real time as well.